what does one need when the blankets and the clothes are on the couch? We need to at least eliminate one. Boom. I'm talking blanket basket. Okay, this basket is by Savannah Baskets. And it is a really great size. It I feel like it looks quite big, but it's it's petite. It's like, you know, like a you could go picking apples with this basket. It doesn't have any handles. So I feel like it is really um, well suited to be maybe a trash bin. Um, you could you could put like a little liner in here and toss your trash in um, under your desk table. It could even be um, like a basket where maybe you put dish towels in, you keep it under your sink, but it's so beautiful um, that I, I personally want to have it um, more exhibited in my house. I'm a big basket freak. And um, I actually pay a lot of attention to the way baskets are made. And I own a lot of them um, because you can really tell when something is genuinely handmade and the bottom here is a great way to see that um also inside like you can see like there obviously it's all like firm but when you get to see like a little tiny loose end like that you know like someone was putting that together with their hands and that is what savannah baskets is all about hold on i have this little thingy that i wanted to read but I didn't bring it. Um, but Savannah Bass is a really cool brand. Um, and they are basically, um, they're not just trying to be like your regular old basket business. They are on a mission to create like economic opportunities and economically marginalized uh, for economically marginalized and poor, vulnerable rural women in Ghana. And so they're working with these women in Ghana to create these baskets and they're so beautiful. And um, they have established this collaborative partnership relationship with their producers instead of like a factory worker type of relationship. And their vision is to build a capacity of producers to level independence rather than dependence. So they're 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 empowering these women by making them almost their partner producers in the company rather than like you're a factory worker and you got to go make baskets every day. It's like it's a collaboration, it's an artistry and um you, I mean we could we could certainly use a lot more of that. Um I am a massive advocate for trying to buy like um fair trade products and this is one of them and they've got a great selection and i feel like berry shop has chosen really beautiful baskets of theirs there's some other ones that are proper shopping baskets and whatnot but that's not what i needed right now what i needed is something to help me organize my space and if i'm going to work from home every single day i want to have pretty things in my home and i don't want to spend a a crap ton of money on them either so I feel like this is a really good deal um for something that honestly makes my everyday life just like slightly easier and cuter um so I like to keep all these little blankets we've had in there have in this basket I roll them up like so little little dumplings and I store them right in here and I feel like it I have fit three blankets in here, but you could you could put less. You could maybe put one more, but I think it's best just three, depending on how thick it is. Um, but again, there's so many different things that you could use this for. You could even put magazines in here. You could keep a bunch of socks in there. Like It's just a cute basket to have in the house, and it's kind of like waist bin size. It's small. Um, but it's not so small that you can't do anything with it. Like it's big enough so that there's options and I love that. Um, I feel like I first got into baskets while living in Savannah, Georgia, which is kind of funny. And, um, there was this farmer's market near my house and all the, all the cool women were shopping with proper baskets. And I was always like, kind of jealous like why am I with the tote bag when I could be with the basket you know um baskets for life baby uh and 
Yeah, I just feel like uh, when you can walk into a space and feel like what you're looking at is not only well curated, but also like functional, makes a big difference. And working from home every day can sometimes be really um, inspiring. So I try and look for things when when I am going to buy something, um, that it's something that is going to improve my life and make me happy. And I, you know, it might be sound silly to be like, this basket makes me happy, but it does. <laughs> so that is what I have to say about that. Um, dimensions wise oh I guess I already talked about that it's like waist bin size um I always thought that something like this would also make you know how like in Mexico do they do this a lot where there are like lampshades hanging like this I know that would be ridiculous but like hypothetically you could put a hole in this and a light bulb and make it into like a really cute lampshade I'm just saying I'm no genius I'm just you know singing outside the box um I also feel like if you got a couple of these they'd look really cute as like storage on a shelf you know like, instead of, like, a box, you have, like, basket organization. I feel like that could be really cute. Um, and mm, I feel like it also could be really um, useful and cute to have, like, in the back of a car. In case you're, like, I don't know, maybe you have kids and they have, like, weird little things that they need to take to school, but you don't want them in the house. Like you could just keep them in the basket in the back of the car, or maybe you have dogs and you just want to keep their leashes in here and they're just like ready to go. Um, it might be kind of a funny shape for the back of the car, but uh, it works. You know, the other thing that's nice about it is if it, if you need to pack it, you can just like fold it up. That's what they're designed to do. Um, and if you don't like the way that it's shaped when it arrives to you, like let's say it gets squashed in shipping, all you have to do is get it a little bit wet and then you can, um, you can like stretch it out to the way you want it to look. So that is super duper cool. Know what I'm saying? Okay. Last but not least, I'm really putting on a show here. Um, last but not least is this freaking delicious candle. 